today we are back in sunny Cornwall and we are off out on another hike. This hike that we're doing today follows the southwest coast path about 10 to 11 miles along the coast uh, from Newquay where we started to Perrinporth. So this is the first time we've been back in Cornwall in about a year and a half. We were obviously not able to come here during the pandemic. And obviously my mum lives in Cornwall as well and I didn't want to be traveling from London, which was a much higher tier area, to Cornwall, which was a low tier for most of the pandemic. So yeah, this is my first time being back since the pandemic started. And it's just really nice being out on the coast again. Me and Amy both love doing these coastal walks and Cornwall's one of the best places to do it. You know, you've got the amazing southwest coast path which runs the whole way along Cornwall. You've got cliffs, you've got beaches, you've got amazing wildflowers at this time of year. So it's one of our favourite places. And a bit later this summer, we're planning to do a multi-day hike along the southwest coast path. That's going to be quite a fun adventure, I think. We're here in Cornwall for about a week. I'm working remotely from my mum's house. So, you know, it's quite nice to be back here. So this section of the walk here can normally be crossed with a ferry crossing at high tide but at low tide like it is now you've got to take your shoes off and wade across that's what we're doing now <laughs> oh that's cold it's not that cold that is pretty cold So this bit down here looks quite deep, so we should probably find another bit to cross. Maybe up here? Yeah, that looks quite nice. I have to say though, it's really nice to do when it's a hot day like today. I'm gonna do my shoe changing here. So that's the bit where we came down and we just waded across here. So we're just following the path that runs along the side of the river mouth where we just crossed and it's taken us into this little woodland and there's really nice wildflowers everywhere and it's got a lot of nice shade as well which is really nice on a hot day like today.
So we just reached this cliff face here and there are all these birds nesting in the side of the cliff. Amy says that she thinks they are fulmars. They kind of look like smaller seagulls. So this huge bay behind us here is called Crantock Beach. And we're just following the path round to this headland up here called West Pentire Peninsula. So I just had a look at the map and apparently this little island here is called The Goose. <laughs> joke and the path just sort of loops around it up to the next headland up there it's much quieter than some of the other beaches that we've passed along here but it's bank holiday so still pretty busy apart from that short stretch of woodland there's been hardly any cover at all on this walk so if you're coming out and doing this on a sunny day like we are today I would definitely recommend packing sun cream and also something to cover your head as well because I've had to reapply sun cream about three times but well, I think I'm still going to get burnt but yeah the last few kilometers have been really exposed and hot in the sun like a lot of the walks along this coastline the path is pretty well marked because for most of it you're pretty much just following the southwest coast path. The only bit that was a little bit tricky was the bit where you need to cross the river and that was mainly because we couldn't find the place where you're supposed to cross. At high tide apparently there's a ferry but at low tide you basically have to find an area where you can wade across. So we've just reached Holywell Bay and the path is now taking us through these sand dunes. So we've had a path along the cliff face, a woodland walk and this route through the sand dunes all within a 10 mile stretch. So you know when you reach a false summit when you're climbing a mountain, when you think you've reached the top of the mountain only to find that as you get to the top, there's a whole other section of mountain waiting ahead of you. That's kind of what we're experiencing here, but with false headlands. Every time we reach the end of what we think is the last headland before we see Perrinporth, another one comes around the corner and another one. And Perrinporth Beach is actually the longest of all of the beaches along here. And definitely one of my favorite beaches in Cornwall. So we just rounded our final headland and we can see Perrinporth Beach stretching out in front of us. It's a really long beach. I think it's a couple of kilometers long, but I think we're gonna drop down now and walk the last final couple of kilometers along the beach. So we're walking along Perrinforth Beach now and I think this is a good place to end today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed following us along on our hike again today. If you are thinking about doing the walk yourself or you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to try and answer them. 
We've got another much longer hike in Cornwall planned for later this year. We're going to be doing a multi-day hike along the southwest coast path uh, and camping along the way as well, so stay tuned for that one. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.